In this video, I show you how to use a thumb pick on guitar. The point of using one and how the thumb pick compares to using the flesh of your thumb when finger picking. You'll also learn if the thumb pick is something you should be using in your playing. Hi, this is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and the thumb pick is great for finger picking guitar. However, only in certain contexts. Now, ultimately, it's up to you when and when not to use one. However, there are situations where using a thumb pick is much preferred and others where it is not. In this lesson, I show you the basics of the thumb pick and where and how to get started if you've never used one in your plan before. I'll give you a side by side comparison of the thumb pick versus using the flesh of the thumb when finger picking guitar. And I'll also show you when it's best to use a thumb pick and when it's best not to. Now, how do you know if you should be using a thumb pick for finger picking guitar? Well, I'll answer that question too. So let's get into it. Okay, so the thumb pick. What is it? When should we use one? Should you be using one if you're finger picking guitar? Well, yes and no, it really depends. Um, there's no right or wrong answer really, but there are, in my opinion, um, certain times when you would definitely want to use one and then there's times where you can you know decide for yourself so the thumb pick is basically a pick that attaches to your thumb and you don't have to hold it like a traditional pick between your index and thumb okay it's just a um, pick essentially now the thumb pick i use here is uh fred kelly thumb picks called bumblebees because of the black and the yellow i suppose I find these really good. I've been using these for about 15 years now. Before that, I was using um, different thumb picks, but the traditional sort of thumb picks tend to protrude quite a way out from the thumb and they're quite awkward to use. Um, I find anyway, um, I can use them, but I haven't really had to since I come across these guys. But what's great about this particular thumb pick is it's also great for using as a just a normal pick you can just pretend you know that you've got to hold it between the thumb and the and and the um index finger and and go about playing normal picking stuff and then back to the you know finger picking with the thumb pick so it's great for that you can do that with other thumb picks but it's pretty awkward because they come out of the you know they protrude as i say out of the thumb quite a bit this is not about fred kelly thumb picks i'm not endorsed in any way so it's not anything like that it's just the one that i use okay so you can see the thumb pick here it's sitting just below the line of my my thumb nail there we don't want it where it's over the top of the nail it's going to flip off like that it needs to be down the thumb a little bit so that it's below the the nail and it just sits nice and firmly on the thumb, nice and comfortably. I don't need the thumb. I don't need another finger underneath to, to play like a flat pick. Although I could do that if I want to revert to flat pick playing with the thumb pick. But otherwise, it's just sitting below the thumb nail and feeling nice and firm. Like it's not going to be flipping off going anywhere at all. If you click the link in the description below this video, it'll take you to a web page on my website. I'll have pictures there of the thumb pick so you can see more clearly exactly where it's got to be on your thumb. Now, when should you use one? When shouldn't you use one? Well, as I you know, said, it depends on what you're doing and that's what we're going to look at in today's video. When and when, you know, when you should use one, perhaps, and when you shouldn't. And what is the difference? You know, what's the, the difference between using a thumb pick and not using one? Okay, so we'll get into that and uh, explore some uh, possibilities. The thumb pick compared to the bare flesh of your thumb when you're finger picking guitar is basically going to give you a sharper, more defined sound to your note. The thumb itself will be a softer sound. Okay, so it depends on the context in which you're playing and what you're doing as to whether you want one sound or the other. So let me give you um, an example here. Travis picking true Travis picking, not just the Travis picking pattern, but Travis picking is, if you're gonna Travis pick, you wanna use a thumb pick, okay? Or else you're not gonna get the sound that you require for Travis picking, okay? So Travis picking is all about the bass and typically a muted bass, and you wanna get a boom, chick, boom, chick sound, okay? Like this, if I'm on a, an A minor chord. If 
I don't have the thumb pick, listen to the difference in sound. I mean, you still kind of get a boom chick, but it's a lot softer. It's not that sharp, defined sound that you need with the thumb pick for the Travis picking sound. Let me demonstrate a little bit more. If I, I'm gonna play a little excerpt of a famous um, thumb picking song, a Travis picking song here called Windy and Warm. Okay, um, so here's how it sounds. defined bass, muted bass that you need with Travis picking. If you do that without a thumb pick, it sounds okay. It's not like it sounds bad, but it's not the sound that you want with Travis picking. It's not quite there. You need that sharp bass sound, which is very you know, definitive of the, the style. But I'll play without the thumb pick the same thing. Okay, it's not quite the same thing. It's too soft, it's blunt. We need that sharper sound in the bass for Travis picking. Okay, so again, this sort of thing. If you're Travis picking, the true tradi traditional Travis picking, you want to use a thumb pick. It will feel foreign at first, okay? You'll probably want to go, oh no, I, it feels so much easier with my thumb, I'll just use my thumb. If you really want to Travis pick, use a thumb pick, okay? I'd say it's the only situation um, where I would say absolutely use a thumb pick, must use a thumb pick. However, don't mistake this for the Travis picking pattern, which is not Travis picking, it's just a pattern associated with the style of Travis picking that's used in a lot of you know, mainstream sort of music. So I'll give you an example to show you that when it's the Travis picking pattern, you don't necessarily use a thumb pick. For example, a song like Landslide, okay, Fleetwood Mac. Now it uses the Travis picking pattern, but it's not Travis picking as in, you know, the like I, I was just playing before. So I would not use a thumb pick for this. Right? So that's the sort of sound you want. It's Travis picking pattern, but it's not Travis picking. So I would use my bare flesh of my thumb. That's the sound I want. If I did that with a flat pick. So does it sound bad? No. Could you use the thumb pick? Yeah. And if you want to, use it. Okay. But in that situation, for me personally, I wouldn't use a thumb pick because it's not Travis picking. And for me, anything that's not Travis picking, I typically don't use my thumb pick. Pretty much. I, there may be some occasions where I might. I, I'll have to think about that. But for the most part, most times, if it's Travis picking, I'm using my thumb pick for that defined bass. Um, if it's not, even if it's a Travis picking pattern, but it's, you know, that or just, you know, normal sort of finger picking stuff, then I'm not going to use the thumb pick because it doesn't quite, uh, sound the way I want it to sound. If we're looking at them side by side, the thumb pick gives you that more defined bass, whereas the, you know, flesh of the thumb gives you a softer sound. So which do you prefer? Well, there's no real right or wrong answer there, but Travis picking to get that sound, it's the thumb pick. Anything outside of that? then you can decide whether you want to use a thumb pick or not. Okay, so let me give you another example of flesh of the thumb versus thumb pick here and which way I might go in this particular situation. Again, no right or wrong answers here, not telling you what you should do, just providing the, the, you know, the, the, the possibilities and the opportunities and then you can kind of weigh it up yourself. But I like to do a lot of walking bass lines on the guitar in a sort of jazz, you know, typically jazz sort of context. It's finger picking, but I wouldn't use a thumb pick for it. I want that softer, more mellow sound of a walking bass versus a sharper sort of sound of the thumb pick. So this is a situation where I would have no problem knowing what to do. It would be definitely every day of the week my thumb. So if I had a walking bass, something like this.
something like that, right? I'm going to want that softer sort of sound with the flesh of my thumb. Plus, sometimes with a walking bass, I might do these little up picks with my thumb when I get this sort of... You know, so I can't do that with the thumb pick. But more the point is I just get this softer sound with the flesh of my thumb. If I try the same thing with the thumb pick, um, apart from not sort of having the same kind of flexibility in my thumb, hear the difference? It's that sharper sort of sound. doesn't sound horrible but it doesn't sound nearly as good as the softer more mellow jazzier sound with the flesh of the thumb if you like this video on using a thumb pick for finger picking then you might like the ultimate finger picking guitar course are you tired of trying to work out how to finger pick guitar on your own? Few ever really succeed at doing this. Why? Because it's incredibly difficult to do and at best if you succeed it's guaranteed to take a hell of a lot longer than having someone who knows what they are doing help, guide, support and train you in how to best finger pick guitar. If you'd like to take the road of least resistance, saving yourself much time and frustration, then check out a very special course I've designed for you called the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar Course. Whether you're just starting out or have finger picked before, this course lays out the steps for you one by one in the correct order along the pathway to mastering the art of finger picking guitar. You're going to learn and master all the key concepts, methods, strategies and techniques needed for finger picking avoiding the all too common mistakes most people make when learning to finger pick guitar. With the ultimate finger picking guitar course, you will have your hand held every step of the way, taking you from wherever you are right now with your finger picking to where you would love to be, enjoying every part of the process along the way. So click the link in the description below this video and check out the ultimate finger picking guitar course. Let me know in the comment section what acoustic guitar topics you'd like to see covered in future videos. I read every comment and I would love to hear your suggestions. If you like this video, then hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so YouTube can tell you when I've released a new video. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your time as always, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.